Yo, he ain't nothing new. What's gonna happen to a nigga? I don't got a clue. Riding solo through the city, oh, I thought you knew. I got them soldiers right behind me and they with it too. They ain't gonna play with you. It ain't nothing new. What's gonna happen to a nigga? I don't got a clue. Riding solo through the city, oh, I thought you knew. I got them soldiers right behind me and they with it too. They ain't gonna play with you. What's up, y'all? Sad Season TV, and of course, it looks like there's two sides to every story. Blueface cleared up the whole situation, proving that his sister pulled the knife on him first before he pushed her down the stairs, kicking him and his mom out. So he posted clearing up the situation, saying that his mom got tired of his sister, his broke sister freeloading at his mom's house. So his mom brought his sister to his. And he wasn't going for it. He like he had all he already got his sister an apartment, but she wanted a new car and all this other stuff. And he reminded them like when I was homeless in my own car for years, nobody wanted to help him. He had to thug it out. But then of course he called out the fake fans that turned on him, saying that y'all turned corners, so f all y'all, and that he's just in it for the money. And you can see right here in the kitchen, it proves her going there, getting the knife, and you're gonna see in a minute she goes up the stairs, pulling it on him. People are calling that snitching and all that. First of all, nobody went to jail. And second, this is a family issue. This ain't no hood stuff. Like Newport was trying to call him a snitch from the rolling 60s. And some people had to check Newport saying, you need to worry about your own backyard. Because the 60s let the biggest nigga, Nipsey, from their neighborhood get gunned down by a snitch in broad daylight. Ain't And that nigga did not drop dead at all. Y'all, They didn't do nothing about it. I agree about that. But that'll be in another video, though. But this is, but sadly, sadly, this ultimately proves that family can be toxic. They can be your own worst enemy. So in certain cases, you got to love them for a distance. And it's sad they did that to them for no reason. And a lot of people keep saying that's his sister. I agree. But at the end of the day, they was letting him, they, they was letting him sleep. And his own car and didn't give two fucks about it. But since he got money, he's supposed to let his sister stay and pull the whole knife on her. Like, I, I'd agree. I'd kick somebody in my family out. They tried me like that. That's like, I'm glad I wasn't raised in a toxic family. My immediate family is not toxic. I am so thankful that they're not. And Shade Room, I hope y'all y'all better eat this up like y'all did that other video. Y'all fake. Y'all real fake. Shade Room, y'all don't like pe see people winning. And with, honest, with all due respect, fuck y'all. Like, like, he was not wrong for that. But sadly, money messes up everything, including family. They'll turn on you. They could turn on you and not help you when you're at your lowest. But then when you rich, you're supposed to forget how they did you and help. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I get it. I get it. It'd be tough when your own blood start acting for. But guess what? Just because they blood doesn't mean they're family. So I'm glad Blueface cleared that up. He's not the greatest rapper, but I still support him. So he not wrong for that at all. I'm glad he was able to show that he would. All y'all people that was turned on him, keep that same energy you fake. And now y'all see the truth. Shut up. But just show that family can be toxic and everybody be like, oh, you don't know what your family hey. They can be toxic. You don't have to. I agree. You don't have to be. You don't. You still don't have to. You don't. You don't have to help toxic families. Sometimes you just gotta love them from a distance and just keep keep you know keep from them. Sadly, but of course there's two sides to every story, and y'all don't. Y'all should. No one should take sides until they know the full situation. But anyways, tell what y'all think about it in the comment section. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, and comment for more videos. Hit the bell so you can be notified. I want to upload a new video, and as always, thank you for tuning in to Sad Season TV. I'm out. Like I said, man, he was trying to say it's never okay to bash his family, but hey, they tried to, she tried to stab him, and they tried to expose him virally, so he had to use social media to clear it all the way up. But, anyways, that was the video. Tell me what y'all think about it. I'm out. I just pray for better times, hoping God that he would listen. I got tired of being broke. I said, fuck the penny pension. If he wasn't in the league or rapping, then your name wasn't mentioned. Screaming fucking on the fire. I said, fuck it every living.